The Prime Minister is tonight weighing up whether to send more troops to Afghanistan. The request from the United States comes after Australia withdrew most of its soldiers from the country three years ago. The decision will be made without input from the Secretary of the Defence Department, who's retired. Here's Defence reporter Andrew Green. Half a century ago, when Australia was still mired in a US-led conflict, a bureaucrat was embarking on a career of public service which would help shape defence and foreign policy for decades. Dennis Richardson's been a Prime Ministerial Advisor, Spy Boss, US Ambassador and more recently Head of Foreign Affairs and Defence. Now, on his final day at work, he's still grappling with Australia's longest military commitment. Anyone who went into Afghanistan realistically in 2001 should have had an expectation of staying there for a long, long time. The Prime Minister's confirmed a recent US request for more troops to help build support for Afghanistan's fledgling defence force. We have been asked to uh, consider additional resources and uh, we are actively considering that. We're open to that. Australia's involvement in Afghanistan will span many Defence Department secretaries. But as he departs, Dennis Richardson's issuing advice publicly that he's given privately to ministers. Keep an eye on China. It is no secret that China is very active in intelligence activities directed against us. He's highlighted Beijing's targeting of Chinese language media and communities. They do engage in some activities in their communities which I think would be considered unreasonable by most Australians. And this bureaucrat's final frank and fearless advice to the next generation of officials? It's time. <laughs> Stop being cowards when dealing with ministers and their advisers. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.